as you can see, health is wealth, okay? Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are back in the kitchen and I'm about to put y'all on, okay? So in these two bags, I have okra and today I'm gonna show you guys how to properly clean it, how to prepare it in your water and how to preserve it if you wanna keep it in your freezer for quite some time. Okra has so many amazing health benefits that can honestly be so beneficial and life-changing for some of you guys watching this video. As you can see, Health is wealth, okay? That's the realest quote I've ever heard. So I definitely recommend you guys watching this video all the way to the end. But before I jump on into this video, you guys already know the drill by now. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell down below so you're notified every time your girl posts a new video. All right, you guys, let's hop on into it now, shall we? Alrighty, so first things first, where can you get okra? From my experience, I would recommend a Caribbean or Asian market. Call your local grocery stores they may have or a farmer's market. So as you can see, with some warm water, I put my okra in a bowl and I just rinsed it off really good with my hands. Try to remove any dirt that is visible to the eye. And then for good measure, I'm taking about a teaspoon of sea salt to a bowl of clean water. And then you just want to let this soak for about 10 minutes. This should really clean your okra. The first step is just me being super precautious, but a good 10 minute soak will do it. And then here I go again, rinsing it off. We don't want to have any of that salt residue. Give it a good rinse and that is it. That is how you prepare your okra. Now before we slice this up for our water, we're gonna let this air dry or pat dry. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna pat dry this lightly with a clean paper towel. Look how gorgeous and clean she looks, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so I don't know what happened with my lighting, but let's just go with the vintage vibe. <laughs> so what you wanna do is just thinly slice your okra. You don't want the slices to be too thin, but not too thick either. Just about this size will do. All right, so of course some of you guys may be wondering, what are the benefits of okra? First of all, it is an excellent source of fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants, and it has so many health benefits, you guys. It boosts the immune system, it prevents constipation, it regulates blood sugar levels, it contributes to your overall heart health by lowering cholesterol levels and reducing the risk of heart disease. It has anti-inflammatory properties, it is rich in antioxidants, Research has also supported that it has potent agents for elevating moods. Just like bananas, okra is a good source of potassium. And I am sure you guys already know that okra has a lot of benefits for pregnant women. And because it is rich in glycogen, it helps to increase the levels of estrogen in women, leading to higher sexual stimulation and lubrication, if that is what you gals are looking for. And you guys, that is just a few of the benefits that okra provides. It is quite incredible. Again, I am learning as I go. I am not a health professional, y'all. So I definitely recommend you to do your own research and see if this would be good for you. But for me, I am trying to incorporate this more into my lifestyle. All right, so back to our regular schedule program. I just had to let you guys know some of those benefits because why else are we going through this effort of preparing and making this okra water? But as you can see, you wanna remove the tops and the bottom of the okra and then just slice and dice your way through. All right, so I wanna say I typically go for about four to five pods um, for my jug of water. As you can see, I'm adding some filtered water to my container and then I'm just gonna add my pods. You wanna let this sit overnight or at least for eight hours minimum. I do wanna warn you ahead of time, if you've never had this, it will be a bit slimy and thick in texture. And that is a good sign, okay? You want that to happen. Um, if that texture does bother you though, you can Go an extra mile, this is optional, but you can strain the liquid through a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth. And also some people like to add lemon juice or some honey to the water to add flavor. And this lasts up to three days in the refrigerator. In my opinion, I recommend making this okra water the day you get it and drinking it as quickly as you possibly can. The fresher, the better. Now moving on to our extra okra, we are going to preserve it. 
it's just so incredibly easy. It's honestly the same steps that you did to prepare your okra for the water. We're gonna slice them up in these nice little chunks that you see here. And then we're going to place this on some parchment paper. As you can see, I worked with what I had. So I have like this silicone sheet. So you just don't want it to stick basically. And you're just gonna put them evenly on your tray and let this chill for one hour in your freezer. That's it, you just don't want that sliminess to basically be there. We wanna let this dry off before we put this into a tight concealed bag because they will stick to each other. So as you guys can see, look at that little frost fit kind of action going on. That's good because it will not stick. Now all you have to do is add it to your Ziploc bag. If you intend to freeze this for quite some time, I recommend those heavy duty Ziploc bags. But again, we're being resourceful here and using what we have. Um, so this can last for about six months. Some people say it can even last up to 12 months, but hey, I don't know. I haven't made it that far, you guys. <laughs> Personally, I prefer fresh okra when it comes to preparing my okra water, but it is a privilege to have this easily accessible. So if you can only do frozen or you need to prepare it for longer seasons because it's not as easily accessible, that's totally fine. Just let it thaw out first before you add it to your filtered water like we did earlier. I do think this method is also amazing when you're adding okra to some recipes such as stews and soups and things to that nature. So yes, this is how you preserve your okra just store this in your freezer until you are ready to use it so that is it for today's video half of my okra is in the freezer and my water is about to go into the fridge if you guys want to see me try this out for an entire week make sure to stay tuned to my channel because I will be letting you guys know more specifics on how I feel and the overall health benefits that I experience drinking this for an entire week but make sure you guys are subscribed if you aren't already and hit that notification bell so you guys are aware when I post that video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with a friend. I like to say save a friend because this is really important stuff that I think is worth incorporating into your daily lifestyle. So yeah, you guys, I love and appreciate you so much for supporting my channel. Stay blessed and I'll see you guys shortly in my next video.